when you can't go to a mountain top to be at peace, to connect with source, universe, whatever your heart connects to in order to help you to find that deeper sense of inner peace when that isn't possible. When you feel that going out in nature isn't going to give you the space that you need to really connect with yourself, then go to bed. Go to bed. When your anxiety is high, when you're triggered, when you're overwhelmed, when your mind is in loops of chaos and negative thinking, go to bed and reset, recalibrate. Your bed is now your temple. You haven't got to go anywhere but bed. Whenever it all gets too much, you go to your temple of light. Your safe place. And you do nothing. You do nothing. You can put on one of the meditations that we've got. There's so many of those and they hold a certain frequency which will support you. There's lots to choose from and it really doesn't matter which one you choose. Just use your intuition or lucky dip, potluck, yeah. They all hold the energy transmission to support you into a deep process. Some are more specific than others, okay, but that really doesn't matter. Because often we don't actually know what we need. But the guiding energy that supports us does. And so rather than trying to work things out all the time, through this time of transformation on this planet, what we're learning to do is to surrender into the light and to trust that the guidance is there to support us. It's an incredibly valuable thing to learn how to do. Because when anxiety is high, when we're stressed and overwhelmed, the mind takes over with all its negative thinking and its monkey chatter, and you'll just go round in loops. When you go to bed, and even if you just go and sleep, you're in the process of change. If you put a meditation on, you will go to sleep. Okay, it's not like a meditation where you've got to stay focused. And it's not one of those meditations where you need to listen to all the words. Okay, though you may and you can. But what tends to happen is that once you're in that energetic space that the meditations hold, you will drop into a very deep inner process with your own inner guidance. Your teams of support and networks that are there with you all the time. And you're now in your temple of light, giving yourself space to access that fully. Okay, give yourself permission. And it's only like going to bed. It's not like you've got to do anything extra or special. You haven't got to be in a certain position, you know, it's, it's so easy. In fact, in some ways, it's a little bit too easy. The mind doesn't always like that it's that easy. But once you make a habit of doing that and you can listen regularly over and over and over and over again to the same one even, and you'll have a different experience every time because it's about the temple of light that you're creating to do your own inner work. And what's so valuable right now is having a temple of light whether you're conscious or not, whether you're sleeping or not, the subconscious mind, the unconscious, always listening, regardless of whether you're awake, okay? So deep, deep, deep inner work can go on. And as you, as you create your temple of light and you make that a habit, as in part of your own inner work, you'll find it so valuable. It will recharge you. It will work very deeply with the ancestral memories and shadows and a lot of the old programming 
uh, that you're ready to release, that we're all collectively ready to release. Some of it we don't even know what it is and we don't need to identify it. Sometimes we can be aware of what it is, we can feel it somehow, or we can be aware of it is of what it is as it releases. You know, some people are, are more tuned in in that way than others, as in they can get a, a vision or a dream state, or just a sense that they know what that particular release was about. But it, honestly, it doesn't matter. Releasing's releasing, regardless of whether you can label it. Most of the releasing that will go on is unidentifiable because a lot of what's been stored hasn't been stored in a way that we can articulate in, in, in that way. It's stored as bodily sensations and feelings of overwhelm and such. So a lot of trauma that's been compact, very dense, heavy uh, trauma. And so... We don't always need to know what all of that is because it's just releasing, releasing, releasing. We're taking the lid off and bit by bit, it's evaporating okay, from this pressure cooker. And so if, if you do get a sense of just feeling the intensity and the overwhelm, and just your stress levels feel like they're going through the, the roof and, and your mind is just going around in loops and you just can't get yourself into that place where you feel okay, go to bed. Go to your temple of light. Just get under the duvet, snuggle up, whatever. Put a meditation on. Let it work its magic with you. And then see how you are when you get up a little bit clearer, okay? If not, go back to bed. Listen again. Keep going. And that time when you are, you know, like awake, getting on with your day to day, should feel easier the more light you embody, the clearer the spaces that you're in energetically. And so again, it's a process. It doesn't happen all at once. And so let yourself off the hook by thinking that you're not doing enough, getting it, or, you know, if it's, if it's tricky, you're in a tricky bit. Okay? Tell yourself that you're amazing. Say to yourself, have compassion for yourself. Nurture yourself. Hold yourself. Say to yourself, this is a tricky bit you're doing. Well done. We'll get through this, it's gonna be okay. Yes, it's intense. It won't be forever, but well done for being in it right now. I hear you, I feel you. And hold yourself in that space of intensity and it will dissipate. You will come through it. Some of the sweetest spots are just after those really, really intense bits. It's a little bit like the, the um, the awakening process is a bit like giving birth. You know, we're giving birth to a whole new earth and we're giving birth through ourselves. We're birthing that new earth and we're birthing a new us. It's the true, real you of you that's going to come into being. And some, so sometimes those contractions are just so tight, it's so intense. You think, I'm never going to, I'm never going to come through this. You know, like a dark night of the soul, it's just too much, but it will, shh, it will release. So just be with it, whatever is going on, just be with it. It will always change, nothing is forever. Okay, but we can lock things into place by worrying too much, by projecting too much, by Rather than just going, okay, this is intense and I'm moving through something. I don't need to know what it is. I don't have to understand it. I don't have to work anything out here. I'm just in my temple of light or I'm in my life or I'm getting on with my day. And intense feelings are moving through me. Waves. And I'm okay. I'm safe. I'm loved. And I matter. Tell yourself that. Be gentle with your beautiful self. 
and just know. The birth is tough sometimes, huh? But it's going to be so productive in what it is that you will create in the long run, that it's purposeful, it's meaningful, and it's worthwhile. Okay? Really worthwhile. Unbelievably worthwhile. And you can do it. You've got this. I believe in you. I'll bring you some more support. Okay, but you've got this.